Five years ago, my 13-year-old self uploaded a poorly made Hypixel video on my mom's laptop called Ami Boy. And 840 videos later, here we are! In this anniversary video, I want to talk about how we went from that to making crazy movies like Silent Tears, which releases this Friday, October 11th. I started off making stupid Hypixel montages with Dame Blazer. Animal is food. That led to the first ever Nomad series, and that was my first touch on story type videos. He's stupid. <laughs> He's stupid. He can't climb. Oh my god, he can't climb. From there, I tried doing some other series, like Hardcore and a podcast. He, he, he has a beard that I'm jealous of. Those ended quickly, though. I knew I wanted something new, though, so I started playing other games. Ah, Jesus, I just got eaten by a shark. I even had this little era of me just posting random stuff I did on Google. <laughs> Point is, besides Hypixel and the Nomad, my channel was all over the place. I knew I wanted to post something different, I just didn't know what yet. So, I posted these little compilations of Enchanted Mob's Five Nights at Freddy series. They did good, but that's when I realized how cool storytelling is. So, sticking with the music theme, I parodied Sad by Bo Burnham. But, I'm not a music channel. I want to storytell. That's when I made my first ever roleplay series called Shadow Creek. Oh no. Oh. This was like season two of Ruby Creeper, because after that we started up a new Nomad series. I don't know if that's I made a vlog. Oh, ooh, that's ooh, hot, hot. That, one that is hot. hot. Other new series. You turned a girl, remember? I, I turned into a girl. I knew it. More games I liked. How does Mr. Beast make so much money? And me and Dane's high pixel videos became commentary videos of just us talking about life. Did you hear about the myth? that kids went missing at Chuck E. Cheese. I even started making skits. Have my plans worked in the past? No, no, they actually haven't. Then the Great Nomad War hit. I'm gonna murder him. Okay. I'm gonna kill, yes! This was the start of season three of Ruby Creeper because this was the switch between let's play to story videos on the Nomad. From there, the stories just took off. There's so many particles. And it wasn't just on the Nomad. Well, I just kind of killed somebody. This led to me finding my love for story-based games. Please don't. Please. No, God. I was locked in more than ever. So, I wrote a roleplay series called Dawn of Invasion. Um, yes. Dawn of Invasion is done. I was very devastated by this because something I was so excited to do was ruined by my own friend. And that's something I can never forgive. But I still carried on with my videos. Each video was just getting better and better, but I know I can do something greater. But a series is too long, so why not make a short three-part series? You're gonna see your family again. <sighs> okay, that was cool, but why not make a movie? No! Season 4 of Ruby Creeper. At this point, I know what I want to make, now I just gotta master it. Movie after movie, episode after episode, I was starting to understand this whole YouTube thing. But I was still open to trying new things. I knew that this is how it was gonna end, but I didn't think it was gonna end like this. Wait, there. what? That doesn't make any sense. Then, a few months ago, I said this. So, this is my message to say, if you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on all of your post notifications to not miss out on the highest quality gaming content on YouTube. There will be times that videos don't work out or my new endeavors fail, but no matter what, I'm going to post the highest quality content that I can. That's why season 5 of Ruby Creeper is going to be great, and eventually there's going to be a season 6, maybe 7, maybe even 8. Point is, I will always continue to grow as a person and a YouTuber. But no matter when you found my channel, I just want to thank you for being here. And yeah, peace.